Hi everyone, here we will discuss numerical example for calculating the hinge loss using the SVM classifier. We assume that given data set is having the sample, the sample's actual output is positive class, okay, but uh, its value is positive 1, predicted as yes, uh, 0 0.5, our uh, soft, uh, SVM uh, classifier uh, function is, ob uh, objective function is W transpose X plus B, right, Y dash equal to W transpose X plus B, it is predicted as yes, 0 0.5. The hinge loss function formula is here, the maximum of 0 comma 1 minus predict uh, actual output into predicted output. Okay, so 1 minus actual output into predicted output. So, we have to calculate this uh, uh, value f uh, by using this formula. So, when you are having the uh, actual output is 1, we are substituting the value here and the predicted value is Y dash which is 0 0.5. So, which is having the hinge loss 0 0.5. So, this means how it is classified in the uh, plot. You look at that, the margin between the uh, decision boundary and the positive marginal line is 1 and also marginal distance between the negative marginal line and uh, distance boundary is 1. But this data is classified as 0 0.5. 0 0.5 means it, wait, it will be uh, placing in between the positive marginal line and decision boundary. So, this is the distance between uh, positive marginal line and sample. So, it is, which is having small hinge loss between the uh, value range 0 to 1. Okay, that is the thing. So, uh, here uh, which is uh, having the hinge loss value close to the 0 even though which is correctly classified and another one example uh, the data uh, data point which is having the actual uh, output is minus 1 but predicted as 0 0.5 uh, for example we can use the plot the uh, the actual output of the sample is negative so it, it, it is the negative side but which is predicted as 0 0.5 so 0 0.5 means here which is classified here okay which is classified here okay so this is the position the data point is classified so here uh, which is having higher value because it is positive 0 0.5 so it is available here right so it has to be calculated the distance from negative marginal line to the sample uh, location so here when you are substituting the value in the hinge loss formula the uh, maximum of 0 comma 1 minus actual output is minus 1 and predicted output is 0 0.5 so when you are substituting the value you are having the uh, uh, loss value as 1.5 so this is 0 0.5 here 1 so we are adding both so we are having the uh, loss value is 1.5 so which is quite a higher value than the uh, range from 0 to 1 so with this sample is misclassified okay so whenever you are having the misclassified data your hinge loss will be always higher and another one example we are having the actual output of the given sample is positive 1 actually it is a positive sample okay but it is predicted as uh, also positive sample so your data is predicted in the positive sample okay so here right so whenever your uh, data is perfectly classified then you can use the hinge loss calculation by substituting the values maximum of 0 comma 1 minus actual output is positive 1 predicted output is also positive 1 you will get 1 minus 1 here 0 so maximum of 0 comma 0 you are getting 0 so this value is also uh, close to 0 uh, so it, the sample can be say uh, said it is correctly classified okay and another one is actual output is minus 1 uh, predicted output is positive 1 so it is misclassified when it is misclassifying right so you look at that uh, the actual output is here negative value but it is predicted as positive value this side okay so you have to calculate the distance from here to here right so you will get you will get more uh, uh, loss 
when you are substituting the values this is actual output this is the predicted output when you are substituting the values you are getting this will become 1 into 1 minus 1 so minus 1 will become minus into minus plus so 1 plus 1 you are getting maximum of 0 comma 2 is 2 so it is quite a higher value for the misclassified sample and suppose if our data is correctly classified for the negative data set so we will take actual output is also minus 1 and predicted uh, uh, output also minus 1 okay so it is correctly classified am i right so when it is correctly classified when you are substituting the value maximum of uh, 1 0 comma 1 minus here actual output is also minus 1 into predicted output is also minus 1 so when you are applying the uh, calculation so this minus 1 into minus 1 will become plus 1 so maximum of uh, 0 comma 1 minus here you will get 1 okay then you will get maximum of 0 comma here 1 minus 1 you will get 0 so maximum of 0 comma 0 0 so the loss is 0 that means the negative sample is correctly classified as negative sample so whenever the data is perfectly classified then uh, the hinge loss will be close to the zero if it is misclassified it will have higher value uh, in the svm classifier so through that we can uh, uh, adjust the weight parameters to maximize the margin marginal margins between uh, misclassified sample and the decision boundary thanks for watching